Today, we're counting down the top five high damage weapons in Seven Days to Die. Now, we've got a lot of info to cover and no time to waste, so let's get to it. Seven Days to Die offers a wide variety of weapons for you to use to slay them zombie jerks. And some of these weapons really pack a punch. These weapons have the ability to kill almost every zombie jerk in the game with a single shot or a single blow. So today we're counting down the top five high damage weapons in Seven Days to Die. But before we get into the list, I do need to make a couple of clarifications. First, this list is comprised of weapons that deal the most damage with a single shot or a single blow. So for the firearms on this list, it means one shot, one kill. A single projectile, which obviously means explosives are excluded from this list. Second, this list does not concern itself with damage per second. Instead, it concerns itself with damage per projectile. So this list will contain the weapons that deal the most damage with a single projectile. For example, the auto shotgun using regular rounds spits out a multitude of projectiles, quite a few pellets per shot. So for the purposes of this list, that shotgun will be using slug rounds. So once again, this list revolves around the phrase one shot, one kill. The highest amount of damage per projectile. So with that being said, let's jump right into the list with number five, the compound crossbow. Now this one actually surprised me a little bit. I did not think that the compound crossbow would actually make this list. However, the compound crossbow using steel crossbow bolts does deal a tremendous amount of damage. Now, yes, you can use the exploding crossbow bolts to deal even more damage, but like I said in the opening, explosive are off limits. Still, a steel crossbow bolt does a tremendous amount of damage being fired from your compound crossbow. As you see here, a single shot from a quality six compound crossbow, fully decked out with mods, will deal 84 ranged damage. That is not bad at all. Add on top of that, the various bonuses you get from the agility skill, archery perks, stealth perks, and the various books that impact the compound compound crossbow, and this weapon really packs a punch. It has the ability to one-shot almost every single zombie jerk in the game. The compound crossbow is an excellent weapon to use to clear a POI, especially if you are using a stealth build. However, the compound crossbow can be a little difficult to use when it comes to crowds. For lower tier zombies, it is usually still one-shot, one kill, but it can take a little time to deal with a massive crowd. Once you get into some of the higher tier zombies, the compound crossbow may have a little bit of difficulty in dealing with these tougher zombies, if they are aware of your existence. Stealth shots, no problem. One shot, one kill, almost every single zombie jerk in the game. However, if you come across a group of tough zombie jerks who are aware of your existence, you may run into some difficulties trying to take them out with just a compound crossbow. But that being said, the compound crossbow is an absolute awesome weapon in Seven Days to Die, and it seriously packs a punch. Now let's move on to number four, the sniper rifle. Now if you want to talk about a weapon that totally encapsulates the saying, one shot, one kill, that weapon would be the sniper rifle. The amount of damage that this bad boy can deal per shot is insane. As you can see here, a quality six sniper rifle fully decked out with mods will deal 121 ranged damage per shot. And just look at that effective range, ladies and gentlemen. This thing has an effective range of 75. That means the zombie jerks can be 75 blocks away and you can still still hit the jerk right in the head. Add on top of that the decent magazine size, and the sniper rifle is a serious weapon to contend with. But it gets even better because the sniper rifle can be affected by the penetrator perk. This perk gives your sniper rifle the ability to penetrate the zombie jerks with every shot. That means the saying one shot, one kill could actually be one shot, multiple kills. 
So while just the regular base damage for the sniper rifle is awesome, the penetrator perk makes this weapon that much better. Still, when it comes to heavy hitters in seven days to die, it does not get much better than the sniper rifle. Now let's take a look at number three, the Desert Vulture. Now I've gotta be honest with you folks, the Desert Vulture is one of my favorite weapons in seven days to die. And boy, does it pack a punch. A quality six Desert Vulture fully decked out with mods does a whopping 129 points of damage per shot. That is absolutely amazing. Now, for those of you who know me, you know that back in my console days, I absolutely loved the Magnum. However, one of the downsides of the Magnum from the console version is that you could not extend the magazine size. Six shots was all you had. That was it. And you could get yourself into trouble if you got swarmed by a bunch of zombie jerks at the same time. The Desert Vulture, however, does have an expandable magazine size. That makes this for 44 weapon even better. Having 13 shots instead of only six can save your life. Plus the reload speed on the Desert Vulture is incredibly fast. This weapon is awesome. The Desert Vulture in Seven Days to Die has the ability to one shot almost every single zombie in the game. This weapon is awesome and seriously packs a punch. Next up, let's take a look at number two, the Steel Sledgehammer. Holy crap, guys, the Steel Sledgehammer is a beast. Now, this is the only non-firearm weapon on this list, but believe me, ladies and gentlemen, it deserves its place on this list. When talking about high damage weapons, the Steel Sledgehammer definitely must be included in that conversation. A quality six, steel sledgehammer fully decked out with mods does 86 damage for a regular attack but a whopping 144 power attack damage this thing hits like a ton of bricks if you are looking for a weapon that will send the zombie jerks a flying look no further than the steel sledgehammer not only is this one of the best high damage weapons in seven days to die it also has one of the highest not knockdown chances in the game. One power attack with your steel sledgehammer is enough to send a whole host of zombie jerks falling down on their butts. Now with all this power does come a couple of drawbacks. First, the steel sledgehammer uses a lot of stamina. It is not difficult to run out of stamina while using the steel sledgehammer. Second, the steel sledgehammer does attack really slow. This can cause play some issues with timing. You have to have a little bit of experience at wielding the steel sledgehammer in order to be effective with the steel sledgehammer. However, that being said, there is no denying that the steel sledgehammer is one of the most powerful weapons in Seven Days to Die. As I said at the very beginning, the steel sledgehammer is a beast, and this weapon seriously packs a punch. Now it is time for the best high damage weapon in seven days to die, the auto shotgun. Now when you are talking about high damage weapons in seven days to die, it does not get any better than the auto shotgun. Now since this list pertains to one shot, one kill weapons, this auto shotgun is using slugs. So instead of firing a whole host of pellets, this auto shotgun is only firing one. That being said, the stats on this weapon are insane. A quality six auto shotgun fully decked out with mods and firing slugs will deal a whopping 180 points of damage per shot. That is absolutely insane. The sheer power of the auto shotgun is overwhelming. The zombie jerks do not stand a chance against 
against this weapon. Not only does every shot deal a tremendous amount of damage, the auto shotgun can also hold up to 33 rounds. That means that the amount of damage this bad boy can put out rises to absolutely insane levels. You can mow down an entire horde of zombie jerks with this weapon. Low level zombies, mid tier zombies, even the toughest zombies in the game are no match for the auto shotgun. So if you're looking for the weapon that will deal the most damage per shot in seven days to die, look no further than the auto shotgun. This weapon is absolutely awesome. There is a wide variety of weapons that you can use in seven days to die to fend off them zombie jerks. And sometimes you want to maximize the amount of damage that you can do while minimizing the amount of ammunition that you need to use. So if you're looking to pack a punch with every single shot of your weapon, you can't go wrong with any one of the weapons on this list. Every single one of these weapons will pack a punch without expending a lot of ammunition. Now I would recommend that whatever weapon you choose to go with, you do want to mold your character around maximizing the effectiveness of that weapon. So for things like the sniper rifle or compound crossbow, you probably want to stick with a stealth build. Or if you're going for the steel sledgehammer and auto shotgun, you definitely want to go with a strength build and turn yourself into a walking tank. And if you love the desert vulture, thankfully that weapon can be used in a variety of different playstyles. And the great thing about Seven Days to Die is that there is no right or wrong way to play this game. You play the game the way you want to play the game. So that being said, this is my list of the top five high damage weapons in Seven Days to Die. I would love to hear which weapons you folks think really pack a punch. So let me know down in the comments below. And if you'd like to see some more awesome best weapons videos, I've created a very special playlist that you can access by clicking the box in the top right corner of the screen. But for now, Oh, this is Savin saying thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me in Savin's World. And remember, the average gamer is always king of the hill on the bell curve.